Oh, YouTube. Kev with uh, Kevin Richardson Ministries here and Cruz and Kev One Channels. Um, for the three days straight, now I've been getting notices from YouTube uh, because alleged Pastor Dow or someone on his staff or in his cult clique have apparently filed a complaint against me on a video entitled. Pastor Dow debunked slavery in the Old Testament, not about African blacks in the USA. Okay, so what I find very interesting about that is that Dow himself jumps up and down and cries like a baby when he gets nailed with a strike. And actually, he just, I guess he just had one uh, finally expire. But um, to kind of get into this guy's mindset to figure out who he is, since he's decided to swat the hornet's nest, I thought I'd give you guys some quick background on Dow and who he is. Now, if you do an a, a online search here, just look up Pastor Dow, Charles Dow, Pastor Charles Dow, or, and R.G. Stare. And if you do that, then you'll be taken to various uh, chat groups and, and blogs and things like that some pretty interesting uh, comments relating to Mr. Dow and his connection with Mr. Stair. Um, specifically one here from a Marlena Dow. I find that pretty interesting. I wonder if she's related. Marlena Dow. Uh, her comment was, Dow was mentored by Stair. I was there from the start. Do your research. Okay, and we're going to get into... Uh, that in just a second here, but we're going to give you a little bit of quick background on Stare so you figure out and know um, how Dow came up with his uh, MO. So here we go here. Forgive me for uh, using my computer to read this, but my eyes are giving me grief. So here we go. Stare and the Overcomer Ministry entice people to come live on their community in Walterboro, SC. When you come, you give all the money and possessions that you have. Then life is made very hard on your flesh, and after about three years of mental and physical abuse, you decide to leave. Stare gives you little of the money that you gave over the years and a few possessions and sends you on your way. This is how he finances his broadcast. Shortwave radio is not a money maker. I know because I have a regular broadcast on shortwave radio. Stare can afford to stay on the air all these hours by first duping people into giving all their money to him and then duping the radio stations. Ask WWCR and they will tell you that the original deal with Stare, when he went on for 24 hours a day, was for $50,000 per month. Stare paid that for a while. Got WWCR hooked on receiving that money every month and then cut what he was willing to pay to be on the air or he would go off the station. Stare is a crook and a robber, a false prophet and a liar and is on his way to hell if he doesn't repent. Okay. So we have that on Stare. Now understand that, uh, again, that this lady, uh, Marlia Dow, again, says... Dow was mentored by Stare. I was there from the start. Do your research. Okay? So there's the, st there's, there's the Stare Dow connection and where he got the, uh, the knowledge of how to set up these cult compounds or communities, whatever you want to call them. A lot of people call them cult compounds. All right? Um, so there we have that. Now let's get back over here to uh, what. Uh, Dow says himself. Also, in this interview, there's a guy by the name of uh, Jim Searcy. I think that's how you pronounce it. And, uh, and Dow, Charles Dow, uh, alleged Pastor Dow, uh, making comments here. I think you'll find this pretty interesting of what Dow has to say about Stare. Now, keep in mind that Stare um, faced charges of sexual abuse and uh, sexual assault, and um, even his wife, I've got access to her statement where she admits that he committed adultery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, you know, I can take this as deep as Dow wants to go. You want to start uh, 
you know, attacking my videos when all I'm doing is giving an opposing point of view, then, we, you know, we can go to the mat, though. I got no problem. Okay? So here we go. Let's see what uh, Dow says about his mentor, Stare, the guy that's convicted. Okay? Overcomer communities in recent years. Stair has encouraged the development of the number of overcomer communities throughout the South Mobile after his ministry's headquarters compound in South Carolina. Stair is viewed by these communities as their spiritual overseer. One such community is in Tennessee, under Pastor Charles Dowell. The excerpt below is from an interview with Dowell by Jim Searcy. Searcy is one of a number of nationally recognized prophetic teachers who have promoted the ministry of Brother Stair. He is also one of a number who predicted that tribulation would start in October 2000, and who had claimed that Prince Charles of England is the Antichrist. Circe was also for quite some time the main proponent for the claims to prophetic authority by a man in Israel whom Circe claimed to be the Elijah of the Bible. Circe's ministry regularly posted photos and written and audio clips of the pronouncements of this Elijah the Tishbite. One of the proofs which Circe used to establish the authenticity of the Elijah figure is that he uses the King James version of the Bible. Circe, along with Stair and many other ultra-conservative ministries, <coughs> believe the King James version to be the only English version that true Christians should use. They do not even claim the KJV to be the best translation of the Bible but rather to be inspired in the same way that the original manuscripts of the Bible in the original languages were inspired, and they promote the idea that all modern English translations are, not just inferior translations, but counterfeits as part of a satanic plot to water down biblical truth. See the Field Guide King James Only Movement Overview for information on this theory. Information on this Elijah no longer appeared on Circe's website as of January 2004. So it appears that he withdrew his support of the man's claims some time before that. Although there is nothing about the matter on the website now, details of the claims of this Elijah can be seen on other sites which promote him. There is even a Yatagraphs forum where his latest prophetic statements are posted. Earlier audio files of messages from this man are available gathered from Jim Searcy's website. More excerpts from this interview are included in the bibliography at the end of this article. Jim Searcy, J.S. Charles Dowell, CD, interview excerpt. JS, you have been working on setting up a big double wide trailer and that is a very dangerous operation which is especially dangerous in this case where you are setting it on a sloping hillside. One thing about the straightway community that the Lord has anointed you to lead is that Brother Stair has the spiritual oversight. You look to him for spiritual leadership. Could you tell us what a difference that has made and just how important that spiritual authority is in a community of faith? CD sure I can. Brother, you know the Bible teaches us that if you receive the prophet, you receive the prophet's reward. The prophet's reward is revelation truth. Beyond that, the blessings that the prophet has will come down upon those who are walking together with him. The prophet of the Lord. At this time is Brother R.G. Stair. He is the voice of the last day prophet of God. Prophet Stair has oversight, spiritual oversight over this community. Brother Stair will tell you that he does not try to come to the communities or run them, but he does take the spiritual oversight of them. What that means is that he determines, with the gift of spiritual discernment that he has, he determines who to move on to the land and who not to allow to move on to the land. He has such an outreach that people are constantly looking to get into community lifestyle. Prophet Stare is definitely God's man, and an anointed man of God, for this last day's time frame in which we live. We are blessed of the Lord to have such an anointed man of God to take the spiritual oversight of our community. Okay, so what we have here is we have uh, Charles Dow supporting 110% this uh, convicted criminal stare. And also teaming up doing an interview with Jim Searcy, who's also a convicted criminal. And we have uh, Charles Dow setting up his communities and following in the footsteps of R.G. Stair. Okay? So, let's get to uh, this here. Again, now, Dow has no problem, you know, complaining about YouTube, giving him strikes and whatnot. But uh, 
he turns around and sends the hounds after me. And uh, the video in question here, again, is Pastor Dow debunked slavery in the Old Testament, not about African blacks in the U.S., which is one of his, you know, pitches. He, he's got everybody believing that uh, that uh, the blacks in the U.S. are the, the original, you know, Hebrews and, and Israelites. So, um, which is not true. And that's what this video is about, that thanks to uh, Charles Dow and or his community, you know, uh, of complainers, now... I have uh, had this video restricted, but um, again, if you go back and you look at what this says, it says video contents restrictions. We believe that the principles of free speech, even when that speech is unpopular or potentially offensive to some viewers. However, YouTube doesn't allow hate speech or content that promotes or incites violence, which the video does not do. Okay, it, it simply just lays out what the Bible says. Okay, but Val, but Dow, on the other hand, does do some hate speech. I'm going to prove that to you, as well as lie about what the Bible says as well. But getting back to what this says, in some cases, flag videos that do not clearly breach community guidelines case in point here, um, but whose content is potentially controversial. Well, it may be controversial within, you know, Dow's community because he's teaching falsehood, lies, okay? So obviously it's going to be controversial within his community. Um, and other offense may remain up, but with some features disabled, okay? Your video... Uh, will be shown after a warning message. Uh, additionally, cer certain features such as comments, sharing, thumbs up, suggested videos have been disabled. Basically, they buried the video. Okay? The video had a lot of support. It had thousands and thousands of views. You can't see that now. When you go back and you look at it, uh, you can't, you can see here, it doesn't show views. This one, the one under it, 15,000 views, uh, that, you know, somebody did a, a video called, you know, exposing uh, Pastor Dow, but, but mine doesn't, okay? So he's clearly, you know, stacking the deck against me and he's using some dirty pool, but yet he'll complain when uh, he gets strikes or something. But, uh, you know, again, I'm clean, and this video is clean, and I'm going to share a little bit of it with you. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I'm going to share enough of, you, of it with you so that you understand that it's not an attack. It's said in love. It's clear as day. Here we go. Enjoy. <laughs> everyone. I greet every last one of you in the precious, mighty, victorious, and overcoming name of Jesus Christ. I am Brother Dawid, and I welcome you to Straightway Life. Brothers and sisters, saints and friends, I've entitled this video, Pastor Dowell's African Slave Trade Hoax. Exposed. Deuteronomy 28.68 was fulfilled in full in 70 <coughs> A.D. Now, to start off this video, guys, I want you to come with me to the book of Deuteronomy. We're going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, and...
and we're going to take a look at a passage of scripture that is being perverted and manipulated in this final hour before the return of Jesus Christ. Come with me to Deuteronomy 28, 68 in your Bibles, and I will be reading from the New American Standard, verse 68. And it says, the Lord, that's the YHWH, the Most High Yah, the Most High will bring you back to Egypt in ships by the way about which I spoke to you. This is Moses writing. You will never see it again. The promised land. So, the Lord will bring you back to Egypt in ships by the way about which I spoke to you. You will never see it again. And there you will offer yourselves for sale to your enemies as male and female slaves. But there will be no buyer. Now, why am I reading this particular scripture in the Old Testament out of the Hebrew scriptures? Well, here's why. There is a synagogue of Satan cult that goes by the name of the black Hebrew Israelites or Hebrew Israelites that want us to believe that Deuteronomy 28.68, which we just read, <coughs> refers to the black African transatlantic slave trade. There is a small group of African Americans who are claiming that Deuteronomy 28.68 proves that they are the original descendants of the ancient Israelites. Okay? They use this passage of Scripture to prove, so they think, that they're the original descendants of Israel. Because this passage of Scripture references slaves and slave ships and slavery as part of Israel's judgment for rejecting God's law and God's Messiah. Okay, guys. I want to expose this deception. First of all, Israel was never a black people or dark-skinned people. Go back to my prior videos and look at the proof that I have shown. Secondly, to all of you black Hebrew Israelites out there, I don't hate you. I don't. I want to see you saved. I want to see you in the kingdom. But you need to repent of this nonsense, this twisting of scripture. But to you black Hebrew Israelites out there, including you, Pastor Charles Dow of the Straightway Truth Cult, to take this Deuteronomy 28.68 passage and link it to the African-American slavery in America is disingenuous, it's unfair, and as I'm going to show, you are actually committing theft. Listen to me very close. There have been many slave trades in man's 6,000 year history on earth. Slave trades that have humiliated many cultures, races, and peoples. So just because this passage of scripture in Deuteronomy 28.68 references slavery and slave ships, doesn't mean that it is referring to the transatlantic slave trade and black slavery. Okay? I am part Irish, and my ancestors were victims of the Irish slave trade. But I'm not going to go and take this scripture out of context to try to prove that this scripture is referring to me or my ancestors. Okay? 
There have been many slave trades. The Muslims have put many people into slavery. Okay? But I want to get past all that and prove to you now that this particular passage of Scripture was fulfilled a long time ago. Long time ago. So, Pastor Dowell, sir, of the Black Hebrew Israelite Straightway Truth Cult, I am sorry to have to burst your bubble and humble you in front of your YouTube audience and the YouTube audience. But you must be rebuked in the name of Jesus Christ. Totally. Deuteronomy 28.68 does not refer to the transatlantic slave trade. Deuteronomy 28.68 is a 70 A.D. fulfilled prophecy when God judged ancient Israel's uh, apostasy and rejection of the Messiah. This prophecy in this book of Moses was fulfilled at the end of the second temple period, not long after the death of Messiah, Jesus Christ, Yahshua. Fact. Okay, so I'm not going to play this whole thing because this thing's an hour long. That was like eight minutes of it. Now I'm going to move to a next to another video here. And um, this is a black pastor destroying Pastor Dow. So you can't accuse me of uh, racism. Listen to what this guy has to say. Okay, blacks are Hamites. Okay, Hamites. Here we go. Hey, brothers and sisters, I just want to come on here real quick to do a quick video on this. Uh, I just want to uh, share something here with you that uh, Straightway Life Ministry, uh, Brother Dawi has done. He has uh, got his hands on a video that Pastor David Manning has done, and uh, it's regarding uh, the black Hebrew Israelites are not Hebrews, they're Hamites, which is exactly what Brother Dawi has been saying uh, all along. And uh, here's a copy of the original video here, uh, giving credit uh, where credit is due to Brother Dawid, uh, where he's mirroring uh, Pastor David Manning's video. But Pastor David Manning, obviously a black man, he, you know, he has no skin in this game other than the truth of the mouth. And uh, he destroys, destroys, I mean, <laughs> destroys so called Pastor Dow. I mean, there's nothing left of the guy. He runs into a meat grinder. So, I really highly suggest you watch this video and share it with as many people as you possibly can because there is a race war coming, I guarantee you. And Dow and his ilk, I, I, you know, my gut tells me they're going to be right in the very front because I have never seen so much hate, so much name calling, so many just wishing white people bad and, and just can't wait until America falls. And it is going to fall. It is going to fall. It's a guarantee. As a matter of fact, I've already done a. Uh, a, uh, a, a video or two on, the, on it, and uh, this is uh, my site, Kevin Richardson Ministries, and uh, you can check out, go to it, and check out this page, uh, Flee Babylon. We'll help you every way we can. Give you some coaching and counseling. Give you some advice. I've been in the Philippines since 2006, so you might want to check it out. So if the Lord is, you know, telling you to get out of Babylon, and you're thinking about moving east, uh, I'll help you out. I know ropes. But with this homosexual marriage law passed, I think it's the final nail of America's coffin. And um, so I've been sounding the alarm. But uh, you know, if the Lord wants you to stay in America, stay in America, do what the Lord does with it too. But uh, you know, we were called out in 2006, and uh, so there it is. So again, uh, also on our site, real quick, we also, if you, if you need to, you know, beef up your library. We also uh, sell Bibles as far in video format and uh, 
MP3 format, audio format. Um, you know, these are these are something that are really good and beneficial. I mean, my eyes are shot now because I spend so much time on the computer. I mean, I, I literally so I have to walk away sometimes because I literally cannot see the screen. My eyes get so tired. So I stay in the word by listening to MP3s. I've been a, a user of, uh, of this uh, material for a long, long time. And Alexander Scobie, or Scorby is the best there is, hands down. Been using for years and years and years. This stuff is cheap. It's uh, you can get it for your your uh, desktop. You can get it for your uh, uh, Android phone. You can also get it for your Android iPad. So you know, spend a little time and check it out. If there's something there you need. You know, it'll help support us because we're doing all we can do. You know, to, to help wake as many people up. And uh, it seems like most of the Christian churches is dead asleep or just don't care. And, they're sitting way on the rapture, but it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen to the last day. Remember what Martha said to Jesus. That she knew that, Matt, that uh, uh, Lazarus would rise on the last day. Jesus didn't correct her. It's the last day. I hate, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you guys <laughs> got to know this. So anyway, it's not, a, it's not a video about the rapture. It's about the truth. As far as uh, you know, these black people, Israelites, these haters, these racists, these black supremacists. And so you got to get out. So with that, I'm going to shut up and let you guys listen to the video. Good luck. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you want to support us, you know, there's a PayPal link on our site. Please support us. If you need scriptures, good scriptures there. Please, you know, buy from us. And that'll help us too. Because we're trying to wake Catholics up. We've got problems. We've got things going on everywhere. We're trying to wake as many people up as we can. So, take care. I'll worry about you. I love you. As long as you're straight, I'll do anything in the world for you. And uh, if you come visit, check it out. Do a recon visit. Well, we'll pick you up at the airport, arrange housing for you, introduce you to friends, get other opinions. I really, really think you guys need to consider that. So with that, enjoy the video. God bless you. Straight Way Life Ministries channel, okay? Take care. God bless you. Bye. Okay, real quick. Notice that I said we're trying to wake Catholics up. Okay? Dow links all Catholics to all Christians. I got news for you, Dow. I've told you this personally many times. Catholics, read my lips. Catholics are not Christians. Okay? Catholics are not Christians. Really quick, I'm going to show you something. What you see here is the Vatican. What you see here is the head of the snake. Okay? Now, if you move through the video here just a little, you see a giant phallus symbol, phallic symbol, right here in the center of the square. Okay? That is a pagan symbol. You'll see that in the Vatican. You'll see it in Washington, at the Washington Monument. You'll see it in London. And you'll see it in, a few, in some other places around the world. But those are the three key. Understand that this satanic New World Order, that the Catholic Church is the spiritual arm, Washington is the military arm, and London is the financial arm, okay? I'm not going to go into this much more, but I just want to let you know that you lumping the Catholic Church and saying that all Christians are false teachers and liars, which you do, and I've got a copy right here on this video um, that I'm making to show that you do say that. You're lying. You're lying, okay? So now we're going to get back to the video we were just playing here. Well, last week I posted up, or at least I covered uh, here on the Manning Report, the uh, claim, biblical claim, that I and people of my skin tone and color and heritage, uh, that we are Hamites, that we are the son, we are the sons and daughters of Noah's son, Ham, and uh, found, of course, in Genesis chapter 9, three sons of Noah, Shem, Japheth, and Ham, and 
of course, the, the Bible states that Noah cursed Canaan, who is the son of Ham, Noah's grandson, and cursed him that he would be a servant of Japheth and, and Shem to some degree. Uh, and we posted this up, and we have been able to trace the ancestry, the use of the name Ham, Adam, and Abram, and look very carefully what the Bible has had to say. Now we know that this same scripture was used quite a bit during the antebellum period. Uh, Baptist preachers, other preachers uh, alike used it to verify that slavery was indeed an order and that blacks were appropriate to be made slaves here in America. That's been a stinging point, a very painful point in American history, very painful to the black psyche. However, I'm again stating that I'm a Hamite because I got a lot of pushback from the group known as the Israelites, a group of black uh, religious group men who are declaring that they are the original Jews and that the Jews that <laughs> call themselves Jews are not Jews at all, but come from another part of the world and they're not indigenous <laughs> to either Canaan land or Egypt or any of that region that now occupy, that they now occupy as, as Jews. Now, this group, the Israelites, have been pretty much in vogue for the past couple of decades and they gave a lot of pushback stating that they are the Jews and that they were, I'm not a Hamite, they're a, that in if I would agree with them that I am a, am a Jew. But let me just try to set the record straight on this because they use a lot of convoluted scriptures to try to demonstrate that these black people or that they are the original Jews. Let me start by saying that there, the black psyche has been so bruised by slavery and by the fact that Africa has suffered so greatly and blacks still suffer when it comes to on par performance with other people. For instance, the people who do declare themselves Jews at present demonstrate a much higher IQ and intellect. Now, I don't say this because I'm proud to say it. I say it because it's true. But the people who they say are not Jews today but are evil thieves of the Jewish name and heritage demonstrate unequivocally and systematically a much higher IQ than they are. And it isn't about war that they have become conquerors. They have become conquerors through the process of the use of the blessings of God. Uh, they operate businesses. They they win nearly all of the prizes, whether in science or medicine or literature or philosophy. Uh, these so-called non-Jews are indeed the most brilliant people on the planet intellectually. Um, and, and that it can be verified through the fact that the, the prizes have been given out as such. But that's not the most important thing I want to say, is that because the black psyche is so bruised and we are ashamed of being Hamites, we're ashamed of the fact that, that, that Canaan was cursed, we're ashamed of the fact that we've been and made good slaves, we're ashamed of that, but here, to get away from that, Elijah Poole, the Georgia preacher, began to preach a convoluted uh, version of Islam, formed what we now know as the nation of black Muslims. And in order to make his point, he stated that the black man was the original man, which refutes what the Israelites say, that the black man was the first man ever made, and that, that the devil made the white man in a test tube, that he is not an authentic man, that the white man is a, is a devil. And you and I know that for many decades, the teaching of Elijah Poole and Elijah Muhammad about Master Farad and Yaqub and the creation of the white man in a test tube, that's why he's the devil and so evil, which doesn't make a lot of sense if he was created in a test tube, then why is he the devil? But at any rate, this nation of Islam drew away a large number of young black people trying to find relief from the scar and the, of, of slavery and the low performance of black people. Uh, so they said, well, okay, we are the original man, even though as the original man, the black man owns less, has less power, has less influence than the man that was so-called created by the black man, which is absolutely preposterous. If the black man is the original man, that he, he is so bereft of any kind of power of note upon the planet. But that was the false, misleading, misguided teaching of the Nation of Islam Muslims. Out of that group, Muhammad Ali was a part of it, and of course came Malcolm X out of that group, and now Louis Farrakhan runs that same group. And they continue that same false convoluted doctrine about the black man being the original man to try to heal themselves of the low-performing position of black people and the curse that God placed upon Canaan. But fortunately, the nation of Islam had a Malcolm X who realized it was a false teaching, it was a false representation of Islam, it wasn't even Islam. The nation of Islam, a uh, black Muslim religion, and he tried to lead black people away from that false teaching. Now we have the Israelites, who are doing basically the same thing, not with Islam, but with Judaism. 
They're claiming that they are the Jews and that they are the original man and that they are the original Jews and that they're not Amites. And it is just the same thing now with a different religious flavor. And they convolute the Bible. They take all kinds of scriptures and convolute them from Genesis to Amos and others, uh, trying to avoid the fact that they are Hamites, trying to avoid the heritage and the lineage, and claiming that they are the Jews, claiming they are the blessed. However, there's no there's no spiritual designation, there is no spiritual heritage, there's nothing at all. And the scriptures that they use, and I could go through those scriptures that they use, but it's just a matter of convolution the same way that, and confusion too, by the way. Uh, this is a very misguided group, these Israelites, and claiming, first of all, to be Jews, when we've all evolved to the point of being Christians now. That's the right. other thing. But I think that what needs to happen in the Israelites, they're not going to listen to me. Somebody within that group needs to be the next Malcolm X coming out of the Israelites, recognizing that it's just filled with hate, but more specifically, it's trying to deal with the psyche of why black people are at the bottom of the world's total pole, have been there from time immemorial, uh, do not possess, do not possess the highest IQs, do not c command commerce uh, worldwide, do not lead great nations and build great societies. I mean, these are all historical facts. You can go find anything you want, anyway, and you can use any scripture you want. But I think the thing that's most important about this is that they are impeding, just like the nation of Islam led many black men astray, having the thinking that they were Muslim when they were not. Now this, this Israelite group is doing the exact same thing. Got black men thinking that they're of the tribes of Israel. You see them on the streets with their uniforms and their buckles and with their brass and with their brash way of speaking. It is nothing more than the, but the nation of Islam revisited again with a false teaching, trying to escape being black. They're not proud of being black. They look down on and they say the Jews are the Hamites. I mean, this is utterly ridiculous. But what? Okay, there you go. I'm not going to play the whole thing. If you want to see the whole video, the title here is on the bottom. Um, okay, now we're going to get to the next point. And. Uh, here we're going to be, we, we're talking about how Dow says that all Christians are liars. He says all Christians, all. Okay? I think we've pretty well proven at this point who the liar is. Okay? There are Christian liars. There are. But not all are Christians. You know, liars. Not all Christians are liars. There's only one church, by the way. One. One. That's the one Christ started. Okay? So here we go with the video. Thursday, February 5th, 2015. And I want to thank you for joining me here today. Okay. Uh, yesterday, on the 4th, Pastor Charles Dow of the Straightway Truth Ministry uploaded a video in which, again, he is engaging in dangerous overgeneralizations. Pastor Dow is one of those ministers that like to draw too general of a conclusion on different matters. And what he said yesterday, and I'm going to play a clip of this for you, so that you can hear it right from the horse's mouth. Pastor Dow says, and I quote, All Christian teachers are liars. Every one of them. This is what he stated yesterday in his video. Now, he's been saying this for a long time. He seems to get more and more vocal about it as time goes on, making this, this kind of overgeneralization. Um, on other videos, and I'll play some clips, he says that Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible and that they make up their own laws. Again, making an overgeneralization. Okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and play these clips in a moment, right from the horse's mouth. But I want to say something here. Most of Christianity, or most of what passes as Christianity today, is a counterfeit. It is a satanic counterfeit of the Christianity, of the Christian church that Jesus established in the first century. Okay? Protestant Christianity is a counterfeit. Catholicism is counterfeit Christianity. Both systems merge paganism into the faith. Mm -hmm. 
Both systems, for the most part, do away with God's Torah, do away with God's law. Okay? They substitute their own laws and commandments for the laws of the Bible. Let me give you an example. They keep Sunday instead of the weekly seventh-day Sabbath that was ordained from the beginning of the world and made holy. They keep pagan Christmas, pagan Easter, and other pagan holidays in place of God's appointed times, his annual Sabbaths, such as Passover, Days of Unleavened Bread, Pentecost, Feast of Trumpets, Day of Atonement, Feast of Tabernacles, and the Eighth Day. God told us in his word how we are to worship him. We cannot worship God any old way. Okay? And most of Christianity is doing that. Christianity is a mixture of truth and error for the most part today. About 99% of Christianity is a mixture of truth and error. It's a mixture of paganism with the faith of the Bible. Okay? But there is 1% or less, a minority, a remnant of Christians today, who are following the commandments of the Bible, who are keeping Torah in its proper spiritual intent. They are not the Seventh-day Adventists. They keep Christmas for the most part. They don't keep the annual Holy Days, the annual Sabbaths, as outlined in Leviticus 23. Then you have your Seventh-day Baptists. They're Protestant. Okay, they don't keep the annual Sabbaths or the clean food laws and so forth. Okay, so you might be asking, Brother Dawid, well, who are these Christians that are keeping the commandments of the Bible? Where, are, where is this 1% that you are referring to? I'm going to show you. But first, I'm going to show you how Pastor Dow is either blatantly deceived or blatantly lying when he says all Christian teachers are liars, every one of them do not follow the commandments of the Bible. He's making an overgeneralization. An overgeneralization that I am going to call him out here in this video, I'm going to expose him for the liar that he is, the false shepherd that he is. And, I, and we're going to go after the video, after these clips, guys, um, we're going to go to four websites that actually have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of assemblies, Christian churches, that actually keep the commandments of God and hold to the testimony of Jesus Christ. And by keeping the commandments of God, I am not just referring to the seventh day Sabbath, commandment number four. Okay, these groups, for the most part, keep the annual Sabbaths. They keep the clean food laws. Okay? They understand things such as the Jubilees and the land rests every seven years. And they understand how to apply the Torah, the law of God, in a lawful manner. Pastor Dow, on the other hand, abuses and misuses the Torah, the law of God, and applies it in an unlawful manner, on top of all these overgeneralizations that he makes concerning Christians. And granted, 99% of Christianity is not the faith of your Bible. But then again, God's true flock, his true church, it's a little flock. <coughs> It's small in number. Christ is only coming back to marry 144,000 saints. That's just the truth. But just because the true Christians are the remnant, are a remnant, and don't... Re I just want to say something. I'm not sure. I, mean, I don't agree with everything this Brother Dowie says. Uh, I think, he, you know, he's wrong on the 144,000. That sounds a little bit too Jehovah Witness to me, but um, you know one thing that I've, no, I've I've noticed is if you listen to anybody, anybody, long enough, 
you're going to find areas of disagreement. There's no reason in the world why we all can't work to what, together and try to become one, because that was the prayer of Christ himself, that we become one. Okay, and Galatians 3.28 says that if we're in Christ, then we're Abraham's seed. Period. It's not about bloodlines anymore. You want to talk about bloodlines, I'll tell you more about bloodlines than you can ever imagine. Because I know exactly what's going on on earth. And the things that I know would horrify you. I'll just say this. They walk among us. We're getting back to the video. I just are very much on the radar, on the world's radar, so to speak. Doesn't mean they're not out there. Okay, true Christians can be found in Britain, in Canada, America. Okay, especially in the Israelitish nations. So, I'm going to go ahead now and go to a couple clips. And here it is right from the horse's mouth. Pastor Dow saying that... All Christian teachers are liars. All Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Well, sir, Pastor Dell, you don't follow the commandments of the Bible either. You are keeping the Torah and teaching the Torah, the law of God, in an unlawful way. You are abusing the Torah. And I'm going to be doing videos on this in the future. Maybe even later today or tomorrow on the subject about abusing the law of God. Okay? But we'll save that for another time. Again, I want to expose in this video Pastor Dow's overgeneralization, a very dangerous overgeneralization, in that he says all Christian teachers are liars and all Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. All Christians make up their own laws. Pastor Dow is deceiving you. So let's listen to, or let's take a look at these clips, and then I'm going to come back and show you the liar that Pastor Dow is by going to four websites here with you and showing you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of assemblies that keep the commandments of God and are not lawbreakers and are not keeping Christmas and Easter and all these other pagan traditions, okay? Here are the clips from false shepherd, false teacher, and liar Pastor Dow. You need to start thinking. You need to start thinking real good because all Christian teachers are liars. Every one of them. <laughs> Especially if they simply can't keep the Sabbath day. Now, if you listen to me, listen to me real good. I've told you once I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking, wicked deceivers and seducers and be witchers of the truth. Simple. Okay, so there you have it. Right from the horse's mouth, Pastor Charles Dow of the Straightway Truth Ministry, making the bold and dangerous overgeneralization, saying all Christian teachers are liars, and that Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Okay, so now you can see why Dow wants, and his ilk, wants to get rid of, and did successfully, get rid of Brother Dae, because he spoke the truth. Like I said, we may not agree with everything he said, but he called out Dow, he did an excellent job pointing it out, and, and Dow, what he's doing is he's lying to people that are biblically unlearned. People don't read the scriptures these days. Okay? Just because somebody, uh, you know, speaks with a, a pointed finger and a set jaw doesn't mean they know what they're talking about. 
And as I pointed out earlier in this video, we know where uh, Dow got his training. And we know that uh, the people that he associates with are convicted criminals. Okay? And we also know, and I'm not going to get into it here, but we can. Keep complaining about my videos, Dow. Okay? Because I haven't attacked you. And I haven't exposed you nearly to the degree that I can. All right? All I'm trying to do is give an opposing point of view and let people make their mind up. So you need to back off and stop with the childish, you know, filing false claims and things. Even YouTube said, you know, the, the guidelines weren't broken. But in order to appease you guys, you know, they restricted the videos. So let me explain something to you. I'm retired. I got nothing else to do but to make videos on you every day and expose you. Okay? I got three children. One is an investigative reporter. The other is an attorney. And the other one is a United States Marine. I also have a lot of friends just like you. So let's just agree to disagree. You speak your piece, I'll speak mine, and we'll let the Lord resolve it. Okay? Stop with the games, though. Stop with the games. Thank <laughs> you.